Uh, so today I found this little beauty at the hardware store, so he's gonna become a part of the household, but he needs a pot because this is not gonna work. So what I decided is a simple terracotta pot would be nice given the shape, but I don't like this color. So we're gonna put it down in my little makeshift painting area. So my painting area is just a piece of leftover fabric from another DIY project. So I just set it up and this is gonna be my backdrop for spray painting so that way I don't get it all over the patio. Alright, so we're just gonna do plain white spray paint and that's Tim with the assist. Okay, so nothing fancy for just the first coat, but I'll come back and hit it with the second coat. So right now, this is just a high gloss white, um, but this is not what it's gonna stay. Uh, while we're waiting for the paint to dry, we're going to do a little replacement. We had a succulent dye, so we have to replace him with a new succulent. So while the part of the pot outside is drying, I'm just going to paint this bottom piece, this divine compass, and this is from Target. So now that the base is done, I'm gonna head back outside and check on the pot. Okay, so for the second coat, I modified my painting station because I figured if any excess paint got on the inside of the closet door or got on anything inside the closet, it'd be no big deal. And this is what the pot looks like so far. So it's kind of working out. You can see there's a little bit of an area where the spray paint got too close to the pot, but hopefully that'll get covered up and it won't be too noticeable. So the pot is dry and just in time because it's starting to rain. So this is probably gonna be the front because this is the good-ish side. This will probably be the back because this is the side that got screwed. So here we go, I have blue taped off the section. So the triangle section on the bottom is what's actually gonna be painted. And right here I need to adjust the tape to make sure that the triangle actually is a full triangle so this bit down there is going to get removed. So now that I ripped that bit off from the piece of tape over there, now I have a nice straight line. So in theory the tape should keep the line straight so we'll see how this goes. So there's a super thin first coat and if you notice I tried to keep my paint lines going all in the same diagonal direction so we'll let that dry while I paint one of the other triangles. Alright so this is after about two coats of paint so it's doing all right so I'm gonna let it sit and dry and then I'll come back and hit it with a third maybe even a fourth depending on how, depending on how it all looks and how it's drying and the real test will be when we take the tape off I really hope this blue tape is not crappy I'm waiting for paint to dry I thought I'd show you the website or the girl that inspired this DIY so this is pop up greens on Instagram and she does a lot with greenery of course so as you can see she has a lot of different like painted pots as well as snake plants and I thought that would be a really cool addition to the house so that pot on the top on the stand is actually kind of where I took a little bit of inspiration although I'm sure once I take the blue tape mine is gonna be very very different than that I really just want to take this paint off, but I know leaving it on is for the best while it dries. Ugh, waiting sucks. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Ah. Okay, so it's not perfect, but it's not horrible, so that's the worst one. Then that one's not too shabby. And then this is the best one. So I think when I pop the plant, this will actually be the front. I won't actually showcase a triangle as the front. Or maybe I'll show, like, do this. So I think that might be how it looks. I think. I don't know. It's not perfect, but it's still pretty cool for a first try. So there it is on the stand. I'm debating on if I want to paint this part up here the same gray. I'm not sure. So if you've been watching this, let me know what you think. Um, I think it might. But I think overall it works, so this kind of gives you an idea of the room it's in. So the pot kind of mimics the rug, um, but goes with everything else, kind of, sort of, I think. We'll see. So the, putting that on top kind of gives you an idea of what it would look like if I painted this on top. I think I might, but I might do that tomorrow because it's time for Twin Peaks.